In this video, you will learn how easy it is to import your existing products into your Bookable account, to cut down the time it takes to set up your inventory down to a few simple steps. A product import is a simple process of downloading our spreadsheet template, filling in the pre-made fields with your Bookable product information, and then you can import it into Bookable, which would open up the product mapping page which is where you can map those columns to the correct bookable product fields and having your new products appear quickly and effectively in your bookable inventory. To get started, you can click into the inventory page from the main sidebar menu in your bookable account and make sure that you have no existing products in your inventory as this import will override them. Click the import button and you will see the learn more link which will open up the Help Center article, providing a written tutorial for this import process. If you prefer video tutorials, you can just skip that step and continue to follow the steps ahead in this video tutorial. In the import page, you can click the download the CSV example here to download our pre-made spreadsheet template for you to fill out. This will open up in Excel file format. So if you don't have Microsoft Office 365 like me, you can instead open and edit these in Google Sheets. Click open a new Google Sheet, click file and click import. Go to the upload section and drag the product import CSV template that you've downloaded from Bookable into this box here and it will import and open up for you to edit. Hit that import data button on the pop-up. And then you can go ahead and edit all of the columns, rows that you don't need and start filling in all the content of your inventory. This tutorial is to import rental products with stock items, not rental products with variations. But if you want to enable variations, you can do so after the import. The first column you will see is where you can add the product name, such as I've had 64 gig. And the column next to that is where you can add the identifier, which is what you would want to do if you want to add individual trackable items. To explain this, in Bookable, you can create two different types of rental products. Trackable, which creates individual stock item numbers and or barcodes, so you can know where each individual item of each product is at all times. Or trackable in bulk, which means you can add the quantity of how many stock items of this product you have without adding the stock item numbers for each. This is really handy if you have a product with a really large number of stock. We will start by adding a rental product with trackable stock items to the import sheet, and then we will continue with adding bulk products in a later step. Moving on, now we have the quantities of each product or trackable item that you have. The price which starts at a price per day, any tags which can be helpful for categorizing your inventory for quicker product searches, the product SKU or stock keeping unit, and then some optional ones like online store category. Um, we've got the buffer time before and after the product is ordered. We also have the description on the online store, which is a product description you can add, which will appear on your rental website for the product. We also have the description on documents, which is the description that will appear on your invoices, contracts, or quotes. If you choose to send them, we also have some images that you can add for the product and some custom field text. So these are all optional fields and I'm going to go ahead and delete them as product imports are best for quickly just adding your products, their stock and basic information. And you can add in all the information of those optional fields quickly at a later step. Um, and it will explain how to do so using bulk actions after we go ahead and add the spreadsheet to your bookable account. So now we can go ahead to fill in all of the columns. So I'll go ahead and add in my name of my first product. I have a scooter rental, so I'm going to add a trackable item of a Vespa 150cc. And I will go ahead and add my trackable stock item numbers. So for me, all of my Vespas will have the same stock item code with different numbers ending. So Ves 150 and then one. And then for my next stock item, it will be VES 150 and then two. And then continuing that process for as many stock items as I have, which for me is four of these VESPAs.
as all of these Vespers will, stock item numbers will come under the same mother product or product group. I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste the product name for all of the trackable items. And then for adding trackable items into an import sheet, you just add the quantity of one next to each of the stock items. Before we go on to the next step, which is adding the price, I'm going to add a product in bulk. So here I'm going to add the name in the exact same way, but I will leave the identifier field blank, choosing to only add the quantity of stock I have instead in the quantity panel. So for my large helmets, I have 35. Another example of a product you can create using the bulk item type is an, a phone holder for the top of my scooters, for example. I don't need to track those individually as they're small and low value products. Um, I have 40 of those item types. Now I can go ahead and add the price um, once I've understood the different process of trackable and bulk. And the price is a price per day. If I have another type of price for these products, like price per hour, pricing structure, or fixed price, don't worry, you can adjust that at a later step. Next, we have tags, which helps to categorize my inventory in the back end. So for Vespers, I will add the Vespa tag. As I have multiple Vespers, I will add to this sheet in the future. And then for the other two products, I will add these as an accessory tag. Next is the SKU or stock keeping unit. For trackable products, I have already created different stock item numbers or codes, so they will all have the same SKU. And I will repeat this step for my bulk item types as well. After adding the SKU, I will stop at this point because I want to do a test import only using a few products. Because if I make any mistake with this import, I have to request to customer support to delete all my imported products in my bookable account and start from scratch, which is very time consuming. And right before I save and upload this import sheet, I will of course delete the example products that this spreadsheet has come with. Make sure to delete the, select the delete row button instead of delete column. And now I can go ahead and save this file as an Excel file, which is the required format to upload this document into your bookable import page. Back in my bookable account, I will click that import file button in my import page and select the correct file and the mapping columns page should appear. Here you can see all the columns I've created in my spreadsheet and you can follow the questions at the top of the page to make sure to correct to map the correct column in your sheet to the correct field in Bookable. So here are these stock items assigned to a new unique identifier. I can select the correct column, which column contains the quantity. I can select the quantity column and so forth. If you have any extra fields at the end that Bookable doesn't recognize for some reason, such as the SKU here, you can click that column here and select the correct field, such as SKU, and complete the mapping process. Now you can double check all of the columns are correct. So all of the columns have been added to the correct field in Bookable. And you can see, fortunately, that has happened. And this is why it's best to first start the import process with just a test import of just a few products before importing your entire inventory. Finalize your import, and you can view all of your newly created products added to your Bookable account. Now we can go into each product to check that the import is correct. So for example, in my Vespa 150cc, I can make sure that all of the stock items have been added with the correct stock item identifier number. I can make sure that my pricing is correct with the correct starting price, which of course I can edit. And of course, in my settings, you'll see that the SKU has been added for this product. I can do the same thing with my bulk products. So you can see bulk products have been added with not trackable stock items, but just the quantity of stock, which of course you can adjust here. If you get more stock in your store and the correct starting price has been added, which of course I can edit. And of course, the correct SKU has been added. Unfortunately, this has been the same process for my other bulk product, which is my large helmet. You can check these in your test import and then no need to go through this checking process when you add all of your inventory in bulk. 
you can also see that the correct tags have been added. So if you type in the tag in the product search bar, you can see the correct products appear and you can also filter on the left-hand side tab section. So now we can make some adjustments to these products with a few easy steps. You can select all of the products uh, through the checkbox at the top, click the actions button and click edit products. We can start by adding a tax profile to all of our products, for example, if your prices already uh, don't include tax. I've already added a tax profile to my bookable backend setting, which you can learn how to do through the link in the description box below. Other things you can do is also adding an advanced pricing rule set, which is an adjustment to the price on certain weekdays or dates of the year, which you can also learn how to do in the description box below through the link. You can also make sure all of the selected products appear in the online store. You can make sure they're eligible for discounts if you plan on using things like coupon codes in the future on the online store or in-store even. You can also allow shortage, which is explained in the link in the description box below, but I will skip that step for now. And also you can add the same buffer time for all of your products. For example, before each product is picked up, I want to have two hours prep time to make sure my product is uh, ready to go, cleaned and inspected. And also I can add a buffer time of two hours as well after each product is returned for the same process. Click save and now these changes have been made. You can go into all these products to double check these changes. You can see the right pricing rule set has been added. The tax profile has been added as well. And you can see the buffer time has been added for these products as well. Now, if there's certain changes you want to make to particular products, such as adding a pricing template uh, for all of just your scooters, which I've already created. Here, I've added that the scooters are assigned a discount after a three-day rental. So I can go into my inventory pages and only select the scooters here. Click pricing method, click pricing structure, and assign my specific pricing structure for this product. If you have more than one product that you're assigning the pricing structure to, you can skip adding in the starting price as you've already added that into the import sheet. And you can select edit all. And now in that product, you can see that the correct pricing structure has been added. There's a really easy way to do all of the pricing for multiple products if it's the same type of structure in one easy step. Now you have completed your test import, uh, the last bulk action you can take is to generate barcodes. So of course I can click into my product individually, go into the inventory panel and add a barcode to each stock item individually. But that is a very time consuming process if I have a really large inventory and it could take hours. Instead of that, I'm going to delete that barcode that I've just created here. And I can go ahead and click back into my inventory page in Bookable and select all the products that I wish to add barcodes to, which for me is only the scooters. And then add the, click the Generate Barcodes button from the Actions menu at the top and make the correct selections on this pop-up. So create barcodes for individual stock items, select the correct barcode type which is QR codes for me and back in your inventory page you can see that all of these stock items for my individual trackable products have been assigned a new barcode and now that you have completed your test import you can delete those products in your bookable account open up the spreadsheet again and add the rest of your products on top of the products you've already added and repeat the process to upload your entire inventory into your bookable account and you're all set you have now successfully learned how easy it is to import your existing products into Bookable to cut down the time it takes to set up your inventory into a few simple steps.